morning, friends. I hope that you're doing well. I hope you enjoyed your holiday weekend. I am wearing a hat. Look at this. I don't even know what else to do. I don't feel like putting too much stuff in it, so I'm going to be wearing a hat going forward. It's getting too long, but that's what happens. Today we're going to do something cool. I think uh, I think some of you might like it. Um, and I'm going to talk a little bit in Spanish, which is awesome. And so let's do it. Who lives in the pond? ¿Quién vive en el estanque? ¿Quién vive? So who lives there? All right. So this might be hard for you English speakers, and this might be hard for you Spanish speakers, or easy for you Spanish speakers today. So should be fun. All right. Today is Wednesday, May 27th, 2020. So the words that we need to know, we're just going to go right through it together. Okay. So mira. ¿Quién vive en el estanque? Who lives in the pond? ¿Quién vive en el estanque? Who lives in the pond? So these have one word on each page. It's a super simple book, but it's cool to learn different languages, right? For those of you who don't know Spanish and for those of you who know Spanish, it's cool too because then a lot of these words are similar and you already know them. So you'll feel like a super expert too. So we have plantas, plants. Right? Notice how they sound the same. Animales, animals. Ranas, frogs. And in some other countries, they call them sapos. And in some other countries, they call them cookies. Wow, so many names for a frog, right? Patos, ducks. Cisnes, swans. This is a word that I learned, I think, last year for the first time. I didn't know what the word swan was in Spanish, so that, that was really uh, a good learning for me. Tortugas, turtles. And for those of you who watch Wild Kratz on PBS, they have a tortuga that's a flying turtle, right? Serpientes, snakes. So serpents, right? Serpientes, snakes, right? Interesting. E peces and fish. Super simple book. So this is what we're gonna do today. We have two writing prompts. Sorry, let me delete this part, okay? We have two. We have one in English, name and date. And down here, we have one in Spanish. So, for you Spanish speakers, you would um, try to do this on your own. Eso que hablan español y pueden escribir español, lo pueden hacer aquí. And you have to do, well, you could do both, right? It doesn't matter. I'm not going to limit you both. Um, if you feel like you can try the Spanish side, try the Spanish side. I think it's really cool. I think it's important to learn two languages, maybe even three or four, okay? So name and date. So here's my sentence frame. A duck lives in the pond. So you could say the plants live in the pond. But that's something that you need to play with on your own, right? So you have to say to yourself, which one makes better sense, the or a, right? The swan, the turtles, a swan lives. So either one, the frog lives in the, a fish lives in the pond. So, aquí en español tengo nombre, fecha, la, o el, verdad, el, el o la, los, verdad. El la lilo lu, no, las, los, las tortugas, los tortugas, right, right, so los, so the Spanish writers have a lot more choices for words, right? Los pescados viven en, en el estanque, los pescados viven, viven, right, so everything starts to switch here, right, so I think that, disculpa. In el estanque, ¿verdad? So on your own, you have to figure out which one makes better sense. And guess what? If you can't write the sentence, just draw the picture and label it. Easy breezy. So let's do the English version first. So here's my pond. Oh, so I'm going to do just a drawing here. That's going to help me, right? 
and I'm going to draw my turtles because I know that in um, the Sheldrake video they showed a picture of turtles. So let's check it out. Let's draw some turtles somewhere. So this is my rock formation, right? My rock. I'm going to write that, and here's my turtle. Mi tortuga. I don't know why I would draw that like that. That's weird. Okay. So here's my sentence. The turtles, right? Or a turtle. Or let's do the. The turtles live, right? Instead of lives. In the pond. Oh. So let me go here and change this too. That way you have the option of lives or lives. Live, right? It makes better sense. And so you live, right? Okay, vamos a hacer el español ahora. Las tor los tortugas. So las tortugas or los tortugas? What do you think? So las tortugas viven en el estanque, ¿verdad? Las tortugas viven en el estanque. So vamos a tener que dibujar eso. All right, so I'm going to use the same picture. So you know, for you English speakers, right, what I'm drawing here, right? It's the same picture, my turtle. What is going on with my turtle? La tortuga vive en el, las tortugas viven en el estanque, ¿verdad? So, if you guys don't think you could do the sentence in Spanish, just label it, right? Tortugas, aquí está la palabra tortugas, turtles, right? Tortugas. And so let's try it, right? Tortuga. And the pond is called estanque, right? Estanque. What a cool sounding word, right? Estanque. All right, so I hope that you found this a little interesting today. Um, so it's always important to um, try something new, right? Out of our comfort zone. Las tortugas. Viven en el estanque. Very like similar translation, right? Word for word practically, right? Una traducción muy fácil, ¿verdad? The turtles live in the pond. I wrote the turtle. The, it should be the turtles. My goodness, Mr. Vargas, wake up. Oh, the turtles live in the pond. Las tortugas viven en el estanque. So, very cool. I hope that you enjoyed that. Um, excuse the hat. I think I'll just continue wearing it because look at this. Oh my God, look at this crazy, crazy hat. I'll be wearing my, my hats every day because it looks a little bit cleaner at least, right? I uh, hope that you're doing well. I look forward to seeing you guys soon on these Google Meets. I um, hope that you're doing well. Bye.